Welcome back. For decades, we've been told to pay our bills and keep our credit card balances low to keep our credit scores high. Now, as Fox 44's Brian Glenn found out, our social media accounts may also play a role. Okay, let's talk about social media and let's talk about your credit score. Joining me now is Lee Kendrick. He is with Credit U Turn. So, I've got to ask you is your social media your posts that you might put on Facebook or Instagram or God forbid you go to Twitter, can those posts affect your credit worthiness? Your posts pretty much don't affect your credit worthiness. That might impact your ability to gain employment or something, depending upon uh, whether or not your views align with somebody else's views, uh, where you were applying for a job or something along those lines. But uh, you're, you know, where this really impacts you uh, via social media is there are billions of data points that uh, credit agencies review uh, or have access to uh, frequently. So they know that if you're frequenting like check cashing places, or if you're frequenting like a pawn shop and, and stuff like that. So that mobile device ID that you're carrying around, they can collect all that data and they know whether or not you're exhibiting riskier behavior or not. So it's really not about what you post online, but those posts could determine future employment. I've got you. And also, so it tracks your location. So if I hang out at the Bentley store or the Rolls Royce store, is that going to boost my credit score? And they're thinking, oh, well, he's, he's looking at those persons. Well, it, I mean... It, cert it certainly could on like the social media aspect. So if they're looking at those social media data points, uh, that definitely reflects well. So wh where this really came about is in developing third world countries or even uh, some that aren't considered third world. So, uh, but just don't really have a traditional credit reporting system. The way that they've got to get started out is they have to figure out who's in your circle of influence and is that circle of influence somebody that has good income or has already been paying a debt okay and if they are, then we're going to be more likely to take a chance on you versus taking a chance on you if all of your circle of influence or people that are hanging out in the wrong places, they're going to the check cashing places. Uh, but if you're going to the Bentley store and everybody else that you know is going to the Bentley store, then, um, you know, if you're in one of those developing countries or here just as a supplementary tool, uh, it could certainly uh, be the, the thing that tips the needle or tips the scales in your favor whenever you're applying for uh, that loan that you need. Hopefully you've helped out some viewers uh, wondering about their credit and if they should click accept on that Facebook friend request. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us. Yeah, and if you want to become more popular later on, you want to make sure that you're raising your credit score so that you're more likely to have your friend request accepted by somebody else. <laughs> Thanks for joining us.